There were times sitting in the, in the locker room before the game, national TV, Monday Night Football, whatever it is, where you're going, what am I doing? Dad, why did, why did you allow me to do this? This wasn't what I went to college for. And, and you have this sort of feeling of, of anticipation with fear and, and anxiety. And then you get out there and you get in the moment and it is thrilling. I mean, you get to impact the game and you get to support your teammate and, and help sort of provide the points that ultimately can allow your team to win. And, it's, and then you sit in the locker room afterwards and there's this sense of just accomplishment and relief and gratefulness. And you know, you're part of a team, which is incredible. You played sports, you remember what it's like to mm -hmm. be part of a team. And, and, and as a kicker, you have a big influence on the outcome. So I love that. Uh, there were games, pre-game warm-up, where I'm going, whew, hope we score touchdowns because <laughs> I don't want to try any field goals. And then the game in Miami where I missed that kick, it was difficult for me because I didn't handle it right. Mm. He called for, uh, we called for field goal on second or third down. We weren't ready. It was deep into overtime. We had three guys on the field goal protection unit who were defensive players who were getting oxygen on the sideline. So when they called field goal, we weren't all ready. They weren't all ready. So we're out there calling for these guys. Time is going. I'm going, we gotta, let's call timeout, call timeout. And, and, and my holder, Ed Luther, says, no, no, it's short, we'll quick it. And I wasn't ready. I didn't control the situation. Mm. I'm thinking if I call timeout to the, the ref behind me, they might snap the ball. All these things are going on. And I, I didn't set it, and I missed the kick. And, and I'm walking inside and going, oh my gosh. I have let the whole team down. What's gonna happen? And then to watch for like eight minutes, Miami moved up the field to kick what looked like would be the game winner. Was Uwe von Schaumann, the kicker for Miami, was good. really a peer. He was good. good that, kicker. One of the better kickers. Absolutely. He was probably the two best in the league at that time, arguably, for sure. And when he missed and we got a reprieve, it was like, oh my gosh. So running out for the second one, they also called it early on second or third down. It was like, oh my gosh, bring it on. Let me, let me kick it so in. So you weren't nervous at that oh, point? Oh no, are you kidding me? I was, I was thrilled. And I remember I, I kicked it so well. And if you actually look at the tape, our wing guy misses the jumper and he lays out. And on most kicks, I think he would have blocked the kick. I remember I got it up so quickly. He's pounding the turf afterwards knowing Just he got a clean shot and, and, and didn't block it. You don't hear the noise, you don't see. It's just, it's, you're in this little tunnel and it's, it's an awesome experience. So that game was, I believe, early January of 82, so following the 81 season. A lot happened in your life between breaking in as a drafted player by the Raiders, that kick in Miami. And when I say a lot, Anybody not familiar with your story, I think is, is it's, it's shocking almost every time you hear it. So take us back to 19, I guess it would be 78, when I'm assuming you just don't feel yourself. So 1978, had some success my rookie year. We're good now. We ended up seven and seven. We're kind of preseason picks to, to likely make it to the playoffs. I get sick after my first game. I start having uh, diarrhea. Uh, crampiness, fever. I think it's the flu. There are two or three other guys on the team that have it. Theirs, theirs goes away and, and mine progresses and I can't figure it out. My dad's a physician at UCSD. He sets up a meeting with the gastroenterology doc and I get diagnosed with Crohn's disease and don't know what that is. My dad has all the medical texts. So I pull one down and we start reading and there's a spectrum of, of the impact of Crohn's disease from this is a disease that will uh, hit somebody and, and they'll have uh, bouts, but they have long periods of remission, all the way to disease doesn't get managed, uh, oftentimes needs surgery, sometimes resulting in an ostomy. I'm 23, I'm Process making my that, living, right? yeah. Uh, and I'm making a living as a professional athlete. I decide this is gonna be, this is gonna be a bout, it's gonna go away and I'm gonna be fine. It turns out I would be this. The disease would sort of run away. No treatment would really manage it. It would require surgeries, ultimately four abdominal surgeries. But I was living the dream, playing in San Diego. Our team was good. I had a stomach ache with diarrhea for all intents and purposes, and my teammates are tearing knees and getting concussed. And, and I'm a kicker, right? I'm hardly a football player, let's be honest. So I kind of kept my head down. 
talk to the team physicians, continue to play. And did you tell the club what you'd had? Oh yeah, no, they were they were they understood, and I continued to kick and. If you look at my 10-year career, statistically, it was one of the best years of my career. But as the season progressed, it got to where we were playing the game on Sunday. Sunday night, they take me to the UCSD hospital in Hillcrest. I get a central IV line put in my neck. I'd be there all week. They take it out. I go spend the night with the team Saturday night. After the game Sunday, they put me back in the hospital, another IV line in my neck, be there all week. And so for a month, I didn't eat. This was how I survived. But I was still able to perform. I was trying to get to the end of the season and, and see what happened from there. So what happened was my, that off season, I tried every traditional medicine, convinced myself I was getting better, came back and started the season, 1979, my third season. Now we're preseason picks to go to the Super Bowl. We're good. And I want to be part of it. The team is working with me. I'm only work, you know, kicking once, not doing double day practices. They've given me all. We open in Seattle, I kicked four field goals. And everybody in the locker room afterwards, euphoric, you know, first step or preseason picks to go all the way. Mike, I remember sitting in front of my locker crying because I don't know how I'm going to survive. After every kick, I got to sit down. It's like somebody's got a knife in my stomach. And I know this is going to end. I just don't know how it's going to end.